Didn't have the art to say no. Nor me. Would have been nice, though, wouldn't it? To get away. Who yeah, would you? Maybe next year. Maybe skiing and San Moritz. Or Aviemore. Aviemore's really nice. Are you sponsored by the Scottish Tourist Board, or something? Kid is in hospital. Yeah, you count me in. Yeah. Oh, it is. Oh, well, you're upsetting on tones. <laughs> Didn't mean you had to buy the whole toy shop. God bless us, one and all. <laughs> yeah, ma'am, thanks for this. She seemed a bit surprised. Well, I am the only one who knows how big your heart is. You fancy Philip? Yeah, we do. What? We didn't get a chance to finish our little chat, Mr. Gordon. This is getting very monotonous. Or maybe you'd like me to tell the whole pub about your henchman of yours and his, his terrible driving. All right, I'll see you around the back of the pub then. See you in an hour. Hello, Norris. Can I buy you a drink? Uh -huh. well, why would you want to do that? I've just won a very lucrative bet. Oh, in that case, I'll have a port and lemon. Much of uh, Double scotch for me, please, love. Where's your lady friend? If you mean Mary, who is my friend, and also a lady, she's at home with her infirm mother. Well, between you and me, Nozza. I mean, do you mind if I call you Nozza? Yes, I do. Uh, I think she sees you as a sugar daddy. <laughs> if she sees me as anything, she sees me as a Renaissance man. <laughs> she thinks you were born 500 years ago. For your information, a Renaissance man is someone who excels in many fields. Ah, in your case, running a news agents, entering competitions, and spying on the neighbours all at the same time. Thanks. Thanks, love. <laughs> Mr. Gordon! Gordon? Do you mean to persist with this? Oh, yes. <laughs> because I've got your number. It's a bit like 999, like what you died when I had my stroke. If you were uh, turning upside down, hey presto, you've got your number. You think I'm the devil? I'm flattered. You don't frighten me. I know that. Mrs. Uh, Connor and I both think that you paid your crony to murder her husband. And you're an old drunk and she's insane. So why should I give a damn what either of you two think? Because it's the truth. Look, I could go to the police, or you and I could come to some sort of civilized agreement. What do you say? I say you're an old boozy loser who nobody respects or particularly likes. No one believed you in the past. Why should they start now? But you know what? It's that time of year when you forgive your enemies and take pity on those less fortunate. And since you seem to fall into both categories, you can take this and count yourself very lucky. I was right then! Don't push your luck. I'm warning you, Gordon. You're not getting off that easy. It's going to take a lot more of these for me to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> 